Today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Squid Kids Inc. So Analog Mini 10 Doe Blind Box Series 2. Everything that you guys liked in So Analog Mini 10 Doe Series 1 now comes to us in Series 2. This is a blind box case that we'll be having a look through. Um, Package-wise, let's just bring the camera up so you guys can get a better look here. Package-wise, we have the Mini 10 Doe character 2. Kind of looks like Ghostbusters 2. I love that. It's official Squid Kids Inc. Stamp of Love Series 2. On the side of the box, on the side of the case, we have some of the figures that I guess we will be seeing in this, including the artists, Nate Mitchell, uh, Nathan Hamill, Kano, Gary Ham, Ragnar, Linda Panda, and then we have some Ultra Rare. On the back, uh, Series 2, four Ultra Rares to find in total, and there's the artists that were involved in the designs of the So Analog characters. So, what we are going to do, probably don't even need to really take a, a, a break, I was going to say a commercial break, but we're just going to open this up, and inside, you've got yourself, let's open this up here, inside, you've got yourself four across, you've got five up, that gives us 20 boxes to go through. So, everybody sit down, if you got yourself a sandwich, or get yourself something to drink, spot, we're going to go through this together and have a look at the So Analog Series 2 Dent 10 Doughs. There's one of the individual boxes right there. Get a good look at it, because you'll probably be seeing a lot of it during this review. Once again, designs by Ricardo Bucciano, Bucciani, Gary Ham, uh, Honey Coney, or Honey Coney, David Horvath, uh, Hydro 74, Kano, Linda Panda, Nathan Hamill, Nate Mitchell, Andy Poon, Ragnar, Shanimals, or Shanimals, excuse me, Valley Dweller, Drew Wise, and there's 16 to collect. There's the ones on the back there. All of these are really cool. Especially that one. That looks that looks like a, a playoff Metroid. Let's zoom in. You guys get better go. There's money money grip. This one looks really interesting. Zombie Kong, I wouldn't mind getting as well. But anyways, let's start this review. Opening up the first box, find out which one we got. First box. Comes in two parts. There's the first box right there. Already we're gonna start. Okay, on the floor it goes. On the floor it goes. First bag, bring ourselves in a knife. Let's say, how about we bring red in for this one? The first bag, we'll open it up. Ooh, nice. Got ourselves a clear case. Put that right there. Let's for that, let's get these legs and arms out. It's like one of those old, was it 52 and 1? Horrible games, but the cartridge was really, was really neat. Let's get the legs going in there. Leg. Legs go in the bottom. That would be correct. If you know anything about anatomy, you know that legs go in the bottom. This one is, I'm having a tough time getting this one leg in here. Let's finagle this leg into the base here. There we go. All right, legs. Get some arms going in there. Spot's not going to spend time putting arms and legs in every single one of them, but you get the idea. There's the character right there, Chip Kid. The Chip Kid. I see what they did there. Very clever. Um, I Perhaps this is one of the rare ones, if that's the case. I'm very excited. That looks cool. I like it. Once again, Really just a smaller version of the 10 dough that we were looking at before. And, of course, this is just a continuation of the Series 1 case that we had to look at. Chip Kid will go to the side. Let's see who's going to join us. Who's going to join the Chip Kid? Let's open up the second box. Now, what Spot did with the original Series 1 blind bags, I'm not going to probably open up and put legs on every single one of them unless it's really cool. Now... It does look like a lot of them are pretty cool in this box, so let's find out what we got in the second bag. Second bag, we got our Zombie Kong. Zombie Kong classics include Zombie Kong, 
and Zombie Kong Jr., two great games in one game pack. On the top it even says Zombie Kong Classics Entertainment System. And on the back, do not store in extreme temperatures, do not immerse in water. Playing too much may cause unwanted disease like death, zombification, and cold. In case of malfunction, gently blow through the connection hole. <laughs> That's awesome, I love it. Zombie Kong. We'll put the legs aside. You see the uh, you still see you still see what they uh, how to put the legs in, although the legs popped off chip kid again. We'll get those back in there. You know what? We'll just put that. We'll put the chip kid aside because he's going to have friends joining him soon enough. Zombie Kong. We'll put that to the side. Opening up the third box. Good way to start. Pretty good choices so far. Yes, it did go on the floor. If you were wondering, or I just have a really noisy black hole. The next one joining us will be Ninja Town. Ninja Town. From Shawnimals, it's better on Famicom. Verified, verified, see, uh, ver verified official Shawnimals seal of awesome. It's about I had a tough time getting that one out. Ninja Town up at the top there. Pro tip: the best ninjas train constantly. That is actually good advice. Very good advice. Ninja Town. Opening up the next box. This would be box four. I wish I actually had a sound effect for a black hole. I would just kind of go, I'm going to throw this and it's just going to go. That's a budget that Spot just can't afford. The next one we have is Snow Nuff. Who's the baddest? Snow Nuff. The baddest shave ice in town. Coming to us from Honey Coney or Honey Coney. At the top there, Show Nuff. Oh, these are so awesome. Again, they kind of just, and there's the eyes down below, just in case you're you're new to this. Once again, a very stylized version of the old cartridges from that brand. You know that brand. The brand that was big in the 80s. Had a plumber. That brand. Moving along. Having a look at the next box here. And opening this up. Once again, this all comes to us from the good folks over at Squid Kids, Inc. On the, garbage, on the floor goes the garbage. Squid Kids, Inc. I'm going to provide all the information down below. If you are interested in picking up any of these, whether it be the larger Tendo or the mini Tendo, like Ninja Town here, click the link down below and you can order these directly from Squid Kids, Inc.'s website. Another Ninja Town. Put that to the side. Opening up the next box. Man, these are so awesome. Spot, you're hard to read. Why don't you tell us what you really think? Well, I think they're pretty awesome. I'm just a sucker for game cartridges. Here we go. What do we got to hear? M. M. What's it say on there? Today we kill, tomorrow we die. Big City. Oh, it says Big City right there. M. Big City. Kind of has a vibe like Golgo. Was it Golgo? Golga? Golga? Next box. Let's open this up. Dump these shoes. The shoes and hands will go to the side. Garbage, yes. Floor, yes. Done. The next bag, opening it up. Next bag we have, oh, another Zombie Kong. Zombie Kong. He eats brains, but he still cares about his son. That's, that's a good dad. Oh, and I didn't even notice. Look what he's holding. Or what was he holding? He needed to get ahead. Uh, spot, it's ridiculous with your jokes. I'm here all day, guys. Or at least for the rest of this 45-minute review. It probably won't be 45 minutes, but... Opening up the next bag. Let's see which one is going to be joining us. The next bag goes to... I sound like I'm doing an award show. Super Panda Cubs! Which is actually a smaller version of one of the 10 does that Spot has already reviewed. Super Panda Cubs 3, in smaller version. Ideal for like a desk, like a little office desk where you just don't have a lot of space. Though, by the way, Spot always talks, his desk must be about 10 feet long. Because I always say, hey, that would look good on a desk. 
that would look good on a desk. My desk actually doesn't have all this stuff on it. But Super Panda Cubs, I would definitely put on my desk. Garbage to the side. Black hole, there you go. Alternate universe spot. This will be sent to you. The next one we get is Wood and Vinyl Rage. This one almost looks like Twitch. C&H Surf Designs, Maui, Hawaii. On the top there, Wood and Vinyl Rage. And then on the back, Whooper Looper Games. So retro. And therefore, so retro equals for me, so cool. Whoa, let's not zoom in all, all the way there. Opening up the next box. By the way, if you're keeping tabs, that leaves us with 10 left. Just like that, we've already made it through two rows. We're halfway through. Let's have a look which one is joining us. Oh, and we actually got a Series 2 Mini 10 Doe. Very nice indeed. Putting that to the side. What I could really go with right about now, a ham sandwich. Lettuce and tomato. Maybe, oh, what do we got here? Questions and comments, go to www.squidkidsinc.com. Plug, plug, plug for ages 15 and up. Tendo figures are, are art, not toys. All packaging is for protection only. Yeah, I could really go with a ham sandwich. It's not really relative to the, what we're reviewing right now, but still, Spot just feels the need to add that to the review. Money Grip. Money Grip. From Kano Kid or Kano Kid. It's action series entertainment system. On the top there, Super Money Grip. On the back, cash rules everything around me. Cream gets the money, dollar, dollar, bill, yeah. Money grip. Some of us are gripped by money. A horrible grip of money. I think Rosalita is starting to get a little consumed by money. It's perhaps the fact that I pay her so much. But some would say that Spot makes his own issues because he makes such a mess anyways. The label was coming off. There we go. Who we got here? Bossy Bear. Crips and Caves. Bossy Bear. What's on the back? More of Bossy Bear. On top. Crips and, ca Crips and Caves. I think I said Crips and Games. Crips and Caves. Bossy Bear. He doesn't look too bossy, but I don't really know him. Some people look like they're not so bossy until you start working or interacting with them, and then you think to yourself, oh, this person's so bossy. Why didn't I see this coming? I should have known that they were going to be so bossy, but I just didn't see it. Ah, oh, that's the worst. Here's the box. To the floor it goes. Wouldn't it be funny if I actually spots place looked like hoarders and it was just a mountain of debris on the floor? You walk into this one room and it's just a mountain and I'm kind of sleeping to the side of my pile of garbage. And they say, well, where do you sleep? Oh, I sleep behind here. What, behind the So Analog Mini 10 Doe boxes? Yeah, right behind there. Where do you go to the washroom? You don't want to know. Don't even want to know. Snow enough. Snow enough. Never enough. Let's open up another one. This now gives us, what are we looking at? What's our tally right now? We have six left. Six left. Hope you guys have been enjoying. There's garbage more to the ground. I hope you guys have been enjoying these reviews. I've really enjoyed bringing the So Analog reviews to your attention. Getting the word out of awesomeness. Extra, extra, read all about it. There's awesome. Oh, where's their awesome? Right around the corner. Oh, okay. I'll wait. I'll wait. And when it comes around the corner, I will experience awesome to its full extent. Blood and Vinyl Rage. No, Wood and Vinyl Rage. I'm thinking of blood. I don't know why. Wood and Vinyl Rage. We've already been there. Got a duplicate. Putting that to the side. Let's open up the next box. Now giving us five. Five boxes. And opening up the next box. Retro Inspired Products. Squid Kids Inc. to the garbage, to the floor it goes. Black hole, it's gone. It's just like that. But Spot, I heard a voice. No, I, no sounds. That, that was just you. Bossy Bear, another Bossy Bear. Looking very cool indeed. 
putting that to the side. Let's open up the next one. Five. Five left. Five. Five. Can you say five any more times, Spock? I'm sure I could. Five. To the floor goes. The next bag. Opening it up. Ooh, and we got a... Ooh, is that a rare one? An owl. Who who loves this? This guy. <laughs> right, right here. Owl. On the top. Owl. On the side. On the back. Owl. Owl. All around. Very cool. And having a look at box, well, the fourth last box, opening it up. And throwing it to the, <laughs> open it to the side. Get our knife once again, Old Red, thank you for joining us during this review. The next one we also got is Ninja Town. Ninja's back at the town. For more vengeance, I'm sure. Putting that to the side, we still don't have that Metroid one, which would be kind of neat to get. I'm looking at the other ones here. Hmm. There's like a, almost like a Legend of Zelda one as well. I think those are really the only two that we're missing. Oh, and of course, some of the ultra rares. There's a little bit of glue on the side there. So this is the third last box, once again, for the So Analog uh, Mini 10 Doe Series 2 blind boxes. And opening up the third last box, Throwing it to the side. Knife once again. And we got ourselves another Snow Nuff. Snow Nuff. Put that to the side. Second last box. Who's still with me? Second last box. I'm still here, Spot. Atta boy, Timmy. Good to have you here. Second last box we get ourselves is a money grip. Another money grip. And the final box to the So Analog Mini 10 Doe Blind Box Series 2. The final box. What an adventure we've had during the course of these 60 or so minutes. I know it hasn't been that long. The final blind box Mini 10 Doe. Let's see which one we have. Oh! Okay, not the one we wanted, but a good way to end out. And you know what? For the fact that this is the last one, let's put some effort into this. Let's put some love into this last piece. Let's put the arms and the legs back in. Kind of like how we started, we end. Some movies, we, nothing like a good movie that ends kind of the same way it begins. It's kind of like full circle. Well, full circle would mean that we're going to put the legs in here. I find the only problem with these smaller ones, the legs aren't as easy sometimes to get in. Uh, you know what? Let's try another. I'm not going to fumble around because I know you guys have things to do, people to see. Maybe you got your girlfriend waiting on the phone right now. She's been waiting for the last little while for you to finish this review. Maybe she's even at the front door. Maybe she's waiting. Your mom's like, come on, you're going to... You got a date you got to go out to. No, no, I got to finish I got to finish Spot's review. The last thing I want to do is get you in trouble. So let's zip through this. Getting the arms and the legs in. Arms and legs. There we go. And that is a good way to end this review. Today we are having a look. Today's collectible spot we're having a look at the Squid Kids Inc. So Analog. Mini 10 Doe Series 2 Blind Boxes. Fantastic collectibles, once again. If you guys are interested in picking these up, Spots can provide the information down below. You can check out www.squidkidsinc. And they have a whole slew of these So Analog 10 Doe characters. Definitely one of my favorite things that I've been reviewing in the last little while. Thanks for watching, guys, and certainly stay tuned. Even though Spots really finished his review of the So Analog, there's definitely more collectible spots heading your way. Oh, definitely more heading your way. See you guys next time.